diagnosis has been a secret since Franklin had surgery, but tonight, sources are confirming what's wrong. Pancreatic cancer is a tough disease to fight, but doctors say there is reason for hope. Our Team 7 coverage begins with Action News reporter Cheryl Choden. She's live on Detroit's east side. Cheryl? Well, Carolyn, there is a lot of concern tonight among family, friends, and fans, but also a lot of hope and many prayers for Aretha Franklin, whose music is unmistakable. People love to sing her songs and sing her praise. And tonight they are offering prayers for the 68-year-old Queen of Soul after hearing the news that Aretha Franklin has pancreatic cancer. I'm a big fan of hers and I really do love her and I'm praying every day, every hour, every second that she'd be okay. Franklin has been hospitalized in Detroit for several days and reportedly underwent surgery for what had been described as an undisclosed illness. But today those close to her are confirming the diagnosis. That hurts. You know, my heart, because she's a longtime singer. Um, we grew up in my family listening to her. We don't know what the, the outcome will be. We pray that it is a solid, good one. The Reverend Wendell Anthony is a longtime friend of Franklin's and president of the NAACP. I'm so pleased that Aretha Franklin was the recipient of our Lifetime Achievement Award. While she was healthy and energized, and we could give her all of the accolades that she so richly deserved. Franklin is one of the most honored singers in American history from the Presidential Medal of Freedom to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We all have a cross to bear, and I'm praying that she is able to get the victory. And here at home, she has her own corner at Burt's Club and Restaurant in Eastern Market. And I think everybody in the city is praying for her and everybody all over the world because it's just one Aretha Franklin. Burt says on open mic night, Aretha Franklin's songs often take center stage and with special meaning tonight. Now, even though Aretha Franklin is not really a Motown singer, Martha Reeves says she remembers sitting around a piano with Aretha Franklin at her home and singing together. She said she treasures those memories and she looks forward to doing that again. Reporting live at Eastern Market outside Burt's Bar, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. Yeah, sure, a lot of people thinking about her tonight. Did you get a chance to talk to anyone who's had a chance to visit Aretha Franklin in the hospital or at home? Well, I did talk to the Reverend Wendell Anthony and, of course, Martha Reeves. And right now, even people who are her friends say that she's very private, and so they have not visited her. I know the Reverend Jesse Jackson did, Smokey Robinson did. But the extended friends, they have not. They say they're keeping track of everything through like a phone chain, and they're keeping close tabs with the family. But right now, they're giving her the privacy that she so desperately wants. All right, sure, she certainly is private, but you know our thoughts and prayers are with her. All right, thank you much. Well, as I just said, a lot of people are thinking about the legendary Aretha Franklin tonight after word got out that she is battling pancreatic cancer. We spoke to a pancreatic cancer surgeon tonight who says there is reason for hope because Aretha was able to undergo surgery just one week ago. With her golden voice and legendary style, hope and prayers are with the Queen of Soul tonight. We've learned from sources close to Aretha Franklin that she is suffering from pancreatic cancer, the fourth leading cause of cancer death in this country. Unfortunately, the vast majority of patients are detected at an advanced stage of the tumor, and it has often spread at the time of diagnosis because there are no effective screening tests or screening programs that are in place. But there's hope for Aretha because she underwent surgery just last week and we're told by a pancreatic cancer surgeon, Dr. Michael Jacob from Providence Hospital, that's a good sign. The prognosis for her would be much better than if she weren't able to have surgery. Um, the survival rate for those patients that are able to undergo surgery is about 25% at five years. That means one in four people will still be alive in five years. The leading risk factors for pancreatic cancer include smoking, alcoholism, and obesity. But the warning signs are not easily visible and sometimes show up much too late. Signs that might be uh, concerning include uh, jaundice where one turns yellow, their eyes turn yellow or their urine turns dark brown, their stools may even turn uh, more of a clay color. 
Uh, that associated with either back pain, a new onset of diabetes. Without talking to Aretha's doctors, we can only speculate on the stage of her cancer. After surgery, most people can expect to stay in the hospital seven to nine days, depending on where a tumor was removed. Chemotherapy and radiation usually follow and can last up to six months. Now, people who have been around Aretha Franklin, like the Reverend Jesse Jackson, say she is doing well following surgery, even walking up and down the hospital. Our thoughts and prayers are certainly with her.